Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On June 3, 2024, the Russian Ministry of Defense took the world by surprise with the release of a video showcasing the latest addition to its arsenal, the TOS-3 Dragon Thermobaric Rocket Launcher. Following the legacy of its predecessors, the TOS-1 Buratino and the TOS-2, this new flamethrower system promises to bring a new dimension to Russia's military capabilities. Unlike its wheeled predecessor, the TOS-2, the TOS-3 marks a return to a track chassis, presumably based on the reliable T-90 platform. However, what truly sets the TOS-3 apart is its utilization of a set of standard 220mm launch tubes, a departure from the downward trend observed in the number of launch tubes in previous iterations. With only 15 launch tubes, protected by an anti-drone cage, the TOS-3 aims for a balance between firepower and mobility. One notable design feature of the TOS-3, reminiscent of its predecessors, is the reliance on additional supports or crutches to maintain stability in combat position. This design quirk necessitates the crew to dismount from the vehicle during the transition from marching to combat configuration, raising questions about operational efficiency and crew safety. The decision to maintain compatibility with ammunition from the TOS-2 suggests a similar operational range of up to 15 kilometers. However, the concept of increasing firing range for a weapon traditionally employed in direct fire support roles raises eyebrows. Flamethrower systems like the TOS series were originally conceived for close-range assaults on fortified positions, emphasizing precision over range. The shift towards increased range risks diminishing the effectiveness of the weapon, transforming it from a tool of surgical precision to one of indiscriminate terror. Moreover, historical lessons from the deployment of the Buratino in Afghanistan underscore the need for self-defense capabilities. While earlier iterations explored the integration of a 30mm automatic cannon for defense, the production version, the TOS-1A, omitted this feature. The introduction of the TOS-3 also invites comparisons to earlier truck-mounted variants. While both share launcher systems, the decision to revert to a track chassis suggests dissatisfaction with the wheeled platform's performance. A thermobaric rocket launcher, like the TOS-3, harnesses special munitions to generate intense high-temperature explosions by utilizing surrounding oxygen to fuel destructive shockwaves. However, despite speculation surrounding its capabilities, the absence of official technical information from the Russian Ministry of Defense leaves much to the imagination. In conclusion, the unveiling of Russia's TOS-3 Dragon thermobaric rocket launcher represents a bold leap forward in military technology. However, questions linger regarding its operational efficacy, compatibility with evolving battlefield dynamics, and the balance between firepower and precision. As the international community awaits further details, the TOS-3 stands as a symbol of Russia's ongoing commitment to innovation in defense technology. That's all for now. See you later.